All right, let's check this thing. Holy cow! Hey everyone, it's Reed here. And I wanted to give you guys a funny, crazy intro for the start of this video. And in the last video, when I was talking about the night sights, Old School Prepper had a question. What about the radiation? Is the radiation gonna get you? Are you gonna die? If you're wearing this close to your body for long periods of time, are you gonna get cancer? Is it a super big danger? Well, let's find out. Now, these things use tritium, and tritium is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen with a half-life of around 10 years or so. What it is, is it sends out beta radiation. The beta radiation hits a phosphorus compound that generates light from the energy received. That's how these things glow for over a decade without needing batteries. You know, they'll just slowly dim over time as they get less and less energy, <laughs> so to speak. Now, as a prepper, I actually have a radiation detector. Cool, huh? Right? Yeah. And uh, so we're going to take a look at this, measure it and all stuff. Now, this is not a scintillation detector. Um, so its dosing is going to calibrate to cesium-137, um, which we are not using. This is tritium, but it doesn't matter. We're going to operate in counts per minute. I want to see how much this is going to impact and how much we're going to receive. Okay, We know what kind of energy and stuff like that tritium is, so it's not a big issue. I just want to see if what we're picking up, if it's significantly more than background radiation and so on and so forth. So we're going to see what kind of shielding this has got, anything comes out of it, and so on and find out from there there's a risk okay so we don't need to do a scintillation meter and such like that now i will cover more stuff with radiation detectors surveys and all this other stuff later but then we're going to compare this to a rock that i went hunting for out in my yard and show you some difference and give you a good idea and put this in perspective is this dangerous or not okay we're going to switch this around get things set up and i'll show you what's going on and explain it go so give me a second Okay, everyone, so here we go. This is the Ranger EXP or Ranger Explorer radiation detector that can do scintillators or Geiger tubes and such. Um, and this thing works really well. I really like this guy. Now, we're just letting it run as it is. Let me try to get the cord moved around a little bit. There we go, that's a little better. And so we're picking up background radiation. Now, background radiation exists all the time. It's everywhere. Constantly, we are getting smacked with radiation all the time. Okay, now this part is the detector. Okay, the wand we can wave around and stuff and examine things with. And this cover here it stops alpha radiation from getting into the detector. Okay, gamma and beta radiation will go right through this, which is fine. So we're only detecting gamma and beta. Now, let's say here, we'll pull this off. This will also detect alpha when it's like this. Alpha radiation doesn't really penetrate this kind of stuff. Now, alpha radiation can be very dangerous. Do not forget that. If you eat something that has a very strong or a good strong alpha emitter and it gets into your body, it will happily give you cancer. So do not discount alpha radiation is not dangerous. All right. Now, inside the home, and that's why I'm inside right now, is because some of the other stuff, the metal roof and other things, help kind of shut it down. Now the radiation kind of flows between, um, you know, 30 something counts per minute up to about 70 something counts per minute. So right around there, it kind of bounces around a bit. And you know, that's kind of what it is. So that's my radiation level I have here. Now, if we were gonna determine, you know, how many uh, electron volts, all the things in, what kind of energy these things possess and everything else to determine what kind of damage they're doing for gamma, beta, and everything else, we need some other equipment, but this at least gives us some idea of just how much is whacking us every moment, <laughs> so to speak. So here we go. Here's the uh, night sights and stuff. And let's just kind of, I took it off. We'll see if we pick up anything that really moves it up. Just kind of turn things a bit. To the bottom. Hmm. This way. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not really seeing much in the way of difference here for between background and not background. And which is what I expected. I expected this to be rather well shielded. It's not going to take much to do it and such. Now, let's grab a rock. Here we go, a rock. The amazing, powerful, wonderful rock, right? Let me show you this. Yes, look at that. The rock is slightly radioactive. And I was playing with it um, when I was looking for it outside to find one. Most rocks do have a bit of radioactivity to them. Bricks and other stuff like that. Ceramics are radioactive. Um, and like here, there's a lot of trace amounts of uranium and stuff. I've actually been planning to, this is one of the reasons why I bought this, was I was going to go prospecting for some uranium deposits and ore and minerals and bring it back uh, as a collection. Stuff like that. Uranium actually isn't like super dangerous if you keep it outside and keep it away from things. It decays on the radon gas, so don't keep it in the house. Uh, any place in the Rocky Mountains, we have a lot of uranium and thus a lot of radon, and it can be dangerous. <laughs> but I've been planning to go out and go get some uranium. Haven't done it yet. When I do that, I'm going to make some videos about where we're prospecting all that. But you can see uh, the rock is uh, radioactive. It's be above background. Uh, it's a, it has a mix of, uh, of alpha and then beta and gamma, um, because it'll drop it down a bit if I put the cover on and such. So, but compared to the night sites, uh, the rock's more radioactive. <laughs> so are these going to give you cancer if you keep this next to your body for long periods of time? No, nope, not at all. Uh, True Glow apparently manufactures it very well. They are well shielded. And I'm not concerned at all using this and keeping it concealed carry and keeping it next to my body. I'm uh, not concerned about this for radiation at all. So there you go. If you wanted to know how dangerous are true glow night sights, the answer, not at all. <laughs> Take care, everyone. This is Reed out.